This is the artwork we are going to paint today. In this tutorial, I will share with you my abstract acrylic multilayered painting technique with 3D effect. Here is the list of acrylic paints we need. Let's do it! Use a spray bottle to mist your canvas, it will help you to blend colors. Today I use 24 by 24 inches stretched prime canvas. We are going to begin on our seascape with a large flat brush and dark purple color. To get this dark purple color, I mix black and purple. If you don't have purple, mix blue and red. If you don't have blue and red, sorry guys, it's better to get them, as red, blue, yellow are primary colors. And from these three colors and white, you can make almost all other colors and shades. Now I am grabbing white and continue to apply the first background layer. You can see that white is blending this dark purple, which is fantastic for the background. Don't pay attention that colors suddenly change from time to time. Today is partly cloudy, and then the sun comes out, it changed the colors dramatically. Use a spray bottle to mist your palette and canvas every few minutes. The seal prevents your paint from drying out, as the acrylic dries very quickly. And as you can see, it helps to blend paints. In the comments I was asked to tell more about the paint thickness and how I dilute it. So replying to your question, dear Sadaf, I cover the background with a thin coat of paint. Even if I apply a thick amount of paint with a palette knife, as I am doing now, I still smear it with a brush and it becomes thin. About dilution. I thin the paint mostly with water. I mist my palette, brush and canvas and it's enough to get a thin, perfectly blended gradient background. Sometimes, when I apply paint with a roller instead of brush, I thin the paints also with pure medium. On the contrary, the final touches are as thick as possible. I do not dilute in this water at all, and I apply pure paints usually with a palette knife. Now I am applying white and a little bit of black all over the background to decrease color saturation, because the farther away an object is, the more faded and blurry it looks, like in a haze light, you know. It's called aerial perspective. After that, we are going to apply pure vivid colors to the centerpiece, because according to an aerial perspective, we want things to be a little bit sharper in the foreground. We want them to have a higher contrast, we want them to have a little bit more saturation, and this is going to create a depth. Guys, pay attention that I am doing a lot of vertical strokes, because the reflection on water tends to smear vertically. I am doing them also in the upper parts of the canvas, which is meant to be the sky. In the real world, or realism, the sky doesn't have vertical strokes though, but I want to enhance the effect of reflection. Learn the rule like a pro, so you can break them like an artist, said Pablo Picasso. That's why I love abstract art. Now, when rendering something smooth like this gradient background, which implies distant objects, I would implore you to use a very soft flat brush. I am now applying vanilla, or in my case it's called unbleached titanium. If you don't have it, mix white with a little bit of yellow. I also add glass beads texture gel. If you don't have it, you can add sand with the tiny stones instead. I didn't dilute this mix with any water. And I'm applying it with palette knife, as I want the strokes being as thick as possible. Now I'm painting the shoreline with the scraper and strengthening the effect of water reflection with it. I'm grabbing magenta. I'm applying metallic, color shift pink. Do not forget that not only do we need to create the water reflection, but the water surface as well. You can do it this horizontal kind of serifs, which are meant to be the waves. Now I'm applying pearl paint, it will give the real effect of reflection. The idea here is to emphasize the foreground. Guys, important information about all these color shift and metallic paints. You will not always look at the painting in front, much more often you or your client will see it from the side. And since all the above mentioned paints cause specular reflection of light, pay attention to the composition of these colors and to the beauty of the paint stroke itself. When you use these paints, step aside and see how they look like, as you don't want them to look like bird droppings, sorry. If you are making this painting with me, and you don't need to get this 3D effect, then you can actually stop here, it's done. I want to get this effect, you know, like in 3D glasses when some elements really look like they are closer to us and some of them are further. 
If you wanted to, stay with me. We are going to create the multi-layer reality and to get it we need to apply a few more layers. A story behind the painting. Dreams of Spain inspired me to create this painting. Lilac harbor, dreamy and glimmering, where waves gently rock in wooden boats and the salty scent of the winds blowing from the sea makes you believe that you are free and life has just begun. I really want to move there in December. Pandemic made me realize that the settled life is not for me. I am suffocating in the same place. When everybody dreamed of becoming an astronaut or an actress, I wanted to be a gypsy. In my wild imagination, itinerant people had all freedom and their life was filled with flavor. I did my best to be stolen by gypsies when I was a kid, but they were interested neither in me nor in the clothes and food I kept bringing them from my parents' home. One October morning in Russia, I basically went out for a sandwich, and now I have been drifting all around the world for more than three years. Really hope that I can manage Spain in December. The 3D effect is quite difficult to see through the screen, but I think now is the moment when this effect is best seen on the screen. Guys, give me a sign, please. If you see it, write yes in the comments below and no if you don't see it. Don't forget to put your signature. I prefer to do it with outliner. If you don't have it, you can make it with a rigger or liner brush, with the sharp points and the paint of course, or with oil or acrylic marker. Thank you for watching, remember to create and keep calm. And be sure to subscribe, because more incredible techniques and useful tips are on the way.